Hello, I'm Scott Graff. Welcome to March 2023 Phoenix Housing Market Update. Let's dive in. Chances are you received a postcard that looks like this. There's a few data points that we'll highlight in this video. Number one, active listings. Now the current active listing count, the number of homes that are on the market, we're sitting at 13,539 homes. Now, we're down from last month just a smidge, 14,364, but we're up from a year ago, which one year ago, we were sitting at 4,711 homes on the market. So there definitely has been some changes in our marketplace. Number two, average days on market. That's the number of days that a home sits on the market active for sale. So right now we are currently sitting on 81 days, average days on market, which is an increase from a year ago. A year ago today, we were sitting at 33 days on market and we're up just a smidge. Again, a smidge is just this much from last month, about six days. Last month, we were sitting at 75 days average on market. Number three, average sale price. Currently, we are sitting at $528,193 as our average sales price in the Phoenix metropolitan area, which is about even from last month. Now, year over year, we're down. Last year, we were at $561,872 as our average sales price. Number four, months of supply. This is the number of homes that if we had no more homes come on the market, that we would be out of homes. So the month's uh, supply of inventory currently is sitting at two and a half months, which is actually a decrease month over month. Last month, we were at three and a half months of supply. Number five, list price to sale price. Currently, we are sitting at 97.2% list price to sale price ratio, which means homes on average are selling at just over 97% of their asking price. Big picture, the balance between supply and demand has shifted significantly over the last three months, and there is now an upward pressure on pricing once more. Hi guys, if you're an a client of ours, there's a good chance that you received in the mail a letter that looks like this. It's called an equity update. And what makes this letter so important is that it's a series of real numbers, accurate numbers that you can count on to move forward powerfully in the assessment of your personal home. I do this for my own home every quarter. If you have any questions on this, feel free to call me, text me, or set up a one-to-one. -one. We publish hyper-local content daily. Here are a few of our favorite stories. Phoenix ranks in the top 10 amongst best cities for downtown living. The article goes on to say, downtown living is finally making a comeback after the pandemic-driven flight to the suburbs. That was an interesting uh, trend that happened back in the pandemic, but not all downtowners are cut from the same cloth. Some are better than others at getting the right mix of amenities. Amenities, again, offsite amenities, um, such as coffee shops, restaurants, light rail, transportation, uh, to keep residents engaged after working hours. One of the best cities is Phoenix, which ranks in the top 10 amongst best cities for downtown living. Now, what I gathered from this article is we're kind of a big deal. Phoenix ranks as the number four best pizza city in all of America. The average price of a cheese pizza in Phoenix is $14.83, which is 27% cheaper than the average price of the 50 cities that were analyzed. Did you know that there are 3.8 pizza joints per 100,000 residents here in Phoenix? 
By the way, any guesses on what cities one, two, and three are? And do you think that this article, this trophy, if you will, increases our property values here in Phoenix? I would say certainly so, as it increases our quality of life and um, an overall desirability. AZ Big Media published an article, the 10 most affordable places to live in Arizona. Out of the 10 cities, two cities were Coolidge and Globe. Both of those cities are just a little off the beaten path from what would be considered the Phoenix metro area. I would say the two hottest cities within the Phoenix metro area um, right now for affordability would be Levine and Santan Valley. There's a lot of new home opportunity in both of those cities. As a fun segment to our market update video, we are gonna highlight one of the best cities in all of Phoenix Metro, and that is Tempe, Arizona, possibly the best city of all the cities in the Phoenix metropolitan area. Now, I might be a little bit biased, but I may not be. Number one, median list price. Did you know that the median list price, that means half the prices are higher, half the prices are lower. The median list price in Tempe, Arizona currently is $545,000. The median rent in Tempe, Arizona is $2,750. $2,750. The average price per square foot of all the homes that are selling in Tempe is sitting just north of $300 at $302 a foot. So it's a strong seller's market in Tempe. That's just a little fun fact. There are different parts of Tempe. There's North Tempe and there's South Tempe, but this is an overview of Tempe as a whole. Well, there you have it. That was March, 2023 Phoenix housing market update. Connect with us online, your favorite social channel. Connect with us, message us, follow us, like us, share our videos. That would be great. I'm Scott Graff. We'll see you next month.